when a game comes out, right, you have to go through growing pains if it's new. I don't really like so much innovation uh, in terms of like being the one that comes with the innovation because people are so potato. You come with a really cool new concept and people don't even fucking know what it is. When I came out with the music player on Gaming for Good as an alert, nobody was using it. I was raking in $100,000 a month with the music player and all these streamers were clueless because, you know, donating for music was too complicated initially. Like, truly, that's how it is. I innovate. Nobody gives a shit. Streamlabs literally copies the feature one-to-one. They they have a tendency to do that. I mean, you know, <laughs> they changed the name. It was Twitch Alerts, then Streamlabs. Now they have another fucking scandal. Maybe they'll, 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 they'll rename themselves to, I don't fucking know, like uh, whatever. Either way. And then slowly but surely, everybody started using it. It's like you can come out with crazy innovations like what was it was it xenox or whatever it was like even with windows right and apple right there was one there was a company before them that actually did all the innovation nobody gave a shit and then microsoft literally stole the shit i was right about Streamlabs six years ago damn straight i was right that's really a dodgy company man oh man these guys i don't even want to talk about it I'm glad they're getting their their ass handed over to them. To be honest, man, they really like what the fuck? What the fuck? The shit they pulled, right? And the thing that they pulled that was the worst, right? I think it's just illegal. It's like from one day to another. That's when I decided to make gaming for good. From one day to another, they just started taking a cut from all donations. No announcement, nothing. Just get a donation. 5% 5% went to, or what is it, 1% or whatever it was, just went to them. From one day to another, they didn't say anything. You can't even fucking make this shit up. It's like, you're a streamer, right? You're on a platform. You're getting donations. You sign up, right? You're getting donations. Then from one day to another, they start taking a percent cut. No TOS change. Nothing. Nothing. Just from one day. That's... Like, if there was an action lawsuit... They would, have, they would have had to close shop. Because that's illegal on another level. No, 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 that's not, no, no, that's illegal. For sure. For sure it's illegal. It's like if, if you, like, if you are... Um, well, yeah, it's just not, you're not allowed to just suddenly start taking a cut. You can't do that. You need to uh, notify your users. You need to have them accept to the new terms. You can't just grab money like that. Why did you delete your old videos? Um, the reason why I deleted my old video, I didn't, I put them private because I got banned. Depends what the TOS says. No, the TOS doesn't even stand. The TOS doesn't even stand. Like a lot of people think that TOS is is legally uh, enforceable, but that's BS. TOS means jack shit. It's like you think if you in in your TOS say stuff that is you know that is illegal that you can get away because it's in the TOS. Nah, man, that's not how how the law works. But it doesn't matter. It was even worse. They used an obscure PayPal feature for split payments to basically pull their cut from your PayPal after donation came in. One day we just checked our PayPal and see tons of little payments go to Twitch alerts. Now Streamlabs. Well, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they reintegrated the payment system to do split payments. <laughs> it's just, it's insane. If that would have happened right now, instead of five years ago, with me, I would sue them. Because we have the law companies, the the law firms. Insta. I would just sue them immediately. And it's not a fake cease and desist. I I wouldn't even send a cease and desist. I would just instantly sue. It's just insane. No fucking way. 
Oh my god, that was so crazy. That's just insane. And they did something else really fucked up with an they bought an app. I don't know if you guys know, that's why the lawsuit was going on, right? With the CEO, right? They bought an app. I don't know, it was like some run app, whatever the fuck. They changed the app, kept the permissions to to start pumping false advertisement and get uh, statistics. It was crazy. They bought a really popular app and they just changed it because it had certain permissions and they just changed it to start. Like they did, I can't remember exactly, but it was already like in a, in a lawsuit. Man, the shady shit. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. But yeah.